very good morning. Thank you, Mrs. H. Welcome to the shave. Shave. <laughs> to the midweek shave. And this is something I don't do very often, as you see in the title there. It's uh, called a death row shave tag video. Not keen on tags. Um, and I was trying to think the other day why I wasn't keen on them. I remembered, I think it was a when they became popular doing tag videos and tagging people. Because uh, if I was tagged so many times, and once you did one, you did the other, you know, to be fair, and I think it ended up, uh, it was taking over the shave, you know, you weren't able to use what you wanted. It was that type of thing, I think it was. But if you enjoy them, fantastic. Um, thank you, Don. Uh, conversational shaving. Um, he tagged me in this, and I thought it was a it was a nice one to do. Um, I think a similar one's been done before, where it's you're on a desert island, you can only have one thing for the rest of your life. So it's a similar, well, not the rest of your life on this. It's death row, so this is your last shave, and that's it. <laughs> um, so most things was easy for me, uh, except for the razor, and it would have been one of three. I don't know if you can guess what they'd be. So the first one would have been the Gillette, my father, the one my father used, the Gillette Slim uh, Twist. The second would have been a Merca Future, probably the gold. And the third would have been the Gillette Slim Adjustable. Um, and I thought, which one, which one? So I thought then, out of the three, which would my dad pick if he was still alive? And he would have gone, I'm sure, because he he had the slim twist, but I think he would have gone for what I've picked. And it's in this I keep it in this case. Magnetic, lovely. The Gillette Slim Adjustable. Because he'd have loved it. Because it was adjustable and it was, you know, it was a good quality one. So that's what I would choose. So thank you, Don and Sarge, for the tag. Um, we're going to start on number nine there. Soap goes without saying it. Well, it could have been brooked, but it's got to be the Old Spice by Shulton. Let me get the lid off. Soap's in there. I have bloomed it, so I'm going to use that as a pre shave. Oh, come on. I can smell my father, my grandfather, the lot. And the brush of choice, um, I could have gone with many brushes really, but I'm, I'm going with this. This was my first um, brush DS Cosmetic made for me, Paul H Films, the, I think it's a 26 millimeter white synthetic knot. They do call this something. It's not, I forgot the name, but it's a white synthetic knot. I've got a similar brush at the top there, if you see, with a different knot on it. I'm gonna use that. Um, so, we'll put the, oh, Blade, my Persona Red, I'd have to use that, brand new, so that's in the package here. So this would be my death row, uh, death row shave. Then, close it up, quarter of a turn, half a turn. There is overhang on this to be aware of, I'm sure if you own one, if you've seen my shaves before. Um, so we'll gather now. Lilacs in the spring. We'll wet the face. We'll put this bloom water on, and then uh, the jobs are good. So far, so good with this. Not. Uh, I think it's easier when it's something like this, and you can shave. If, if it was just a beard, it would be a nightmare. Having no shaving, <laughs> don't think I'd do it. Right, empty that straight on the face. Oh, the old Shelton baby. <laughs> And that's just the water. Hold this up. 50, 60 years, 40, 50, 60 years. 50 or 60, I think. But no, that's beautiful. Look at that slickly. Wow. What a way. You're going out in style. 
Uh, well, I think so. <laughs> right, so we've got the Paul H. Phil's brush, first, first edition. Three shakes, wet but not dripping. And we'll gather it off the soap. Um, when I've, I've said it before, when I finished this shave, I rinse this, I take the soap out, rinse the mug, dry it, let the soap dry out of the mug, and then tomorrow, uh, put it all back together and back in its box and there's no problems whatsoever with it. I think once you start leaving them wet or, you've got to be thorough, you know, to look after it. That'll do. Now, look how that's gone. Touch of water. Hot water. And watch the magic begin. I got that carried away, I even get in my eye, did this bit. That's lovely. What would you pick if it was if it was your well it doesn't have to be death row if it, if it was your last shave ever or you could only have one razor blade brush soap and it would last you a lifetime difficult isn't it sometimes maybe you think no i know exactly what i'd use but it can be difficult i think so here we go so the gillette slim adjustable set in nine most aggressive Persona Red, brand new, Schultz and Old Spice. Smells beautiful in here. Uh, what a way I would ha ha very happily shave. Like that. This is a lovely blade for me. Look at them whiskers. Setting nine is this razor's most aggressive setting, but I wouldn't class it as an aggressive razor. Um, but it's nice to have the choice, I think, of um, moving it up and down, you know, whatever. Now oh, the slickness, the smell, the slickness. Scent, strength. One to ten at the moment, four, somewhere on there. I doubt, I doubt we'll have to go back to the puck. So what's the reasoning you may say um, for picking these products? Well, the first thing, it's a good product. I love Old Spice. Um, I wanted to wear Old Spice when I was young, but I couldn't. You'd have your head kicked in by the lads because it was classed as an old man scent, a dad scent, and I was jealous of my father being able to go out Thinking and stuff. Uh, I did wear it now. The slickness is amazing. For the, you think of the age of this soap. Um, so that's one of the reasons: quality, scent, and memories. There's a good little brush. This. 
I won't be able to put a link to this brush, um, but if I can see, the, you know, with the name, with my name on it, but I think they may sell the brush itself. I'll, I'll see. I'll put a link. Well, I'll put a link to the DS Cosmetic. You can have a look at all their brushes. Good choices now. And Yaki, you've got the lots of choice there. Okay, so we're going to adjust it. Yeah, we may as well have a party while we're at it, slacking it off. And we're going to go number six, which is a dot in this case, between five and seven. If we go across the growth. Death row shave. And I tell you something, I would make the shave last. Let's see. Oh, there we Nice aggression, this number seven. Lovely. Anyway, this isn't your death row. <laughs> So are you shaving with shave of the day, please? Unless you list what you would shave with, yeah. But um, oh, slickness is absolutely amazing. I love this stuff. Here we go. I haven't been back to the puck. Granted, I'm not, you know, covering everywhere with this stuff, but I would, if I was death row, I would shave that now all off. Look at that. That's just perfection, isn't it? You can do your earlobes and everything with it. So how was the week? You having a good week so far? I hope so. Health-wise, work-wise, weather-wise, retirement-wise. Oh, that's a good idea. We're going to adjust it. Yeah, open it up. We'll... No good trying to be clever and pretend I know what I'm doing here. Um, four. Oh, go on, we'll go to three. Three. I think that's the lowest I'd like to go on it. Some people go from the bottom, so start off at three, go to six, up to nine maybe on the last pass. I may do that one these days as a change. Against the growth. Yeah, I think you'd savour every moment when you're in this shave. Make sure every little whisk is gone. If you cut yourself, it wouldn't matter, would it? You could shave on slickness alone on this, with this soap. Wow. 
I can't make out there's nobody making this I don't know if it's easy to find the you know what they use ingredients it, it's uh, unless it's heavily guarded you see like a paintings on it or something Very satisfying. Mm. That's only trouble, you wouldn't want the shave to end, would you? Well, especially under them circumstances. But we'd have to do this. We'd have to have a death row. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Beautiful shave. Thank you. Fire engine, that was. I don't know if you can eat on there, but it's going away somewhere. Right, we'll leave it on three for pickups. Shouldn't be too much. I'd enjoy this pass. I'd make the most of it. Perfect. I've probably overdone it there, but who cares? Death row, mate. Death row. <laughs> That's uh... quite happy with that. Right. Cold water rinse. Wow, that is cold. There we go. All right. Then I'll go with some homemade stuff. This uh, tea. I'm trying to use it up before I before I go. Um, tea tree and witch hazel. That is a smooth shave. Lovely. I'll tell you what I have noticed in here as well. I don't know if you can see them on camera, there's a few uh, a few of the old silvers starting. Yeah. This side looks thicker than the other shows on here. It's a bit slower to grow there, so it, it will grow, but um yeah. Do 
just on there. And then of course we've got the the grand stuff itself, the old spice aftershave lotion by Shulton. And it doesn't get any better than this. Oh come on, get you come on, come on. I'll be the only fella smiling going. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That is... Ah, oh, memory lane. <laughs> oh, they didn't get excited. Nivea Originals. It wouldn't matter, really, the barn. It's just... Um, This is lovely. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Death row. Good idea actually, but uh, you know to do gives you an idea of what you would use and I would use it. So we've used the Gillette Slim Adjustable. Um, set in nine, first pass, most aggressive. Set in six, across the growth, and set in three, against the growth and pick up time. With a brand new Persona Red. Always been a fantastic blade for me. I have always done it. See the little dots? I can feel it. But it's worth it, absolutely worth it. As I say, it doesn't matter in this shave. Uh, this fantastic stuff, Shulton's Old Spice Shaving Soap. As I say, I'll rinse this out now. Uh, take that out. Rinse the mug thoroughly, dry it. Let the soap dry, 12, minimum 12 hours. And then everything back together. And it's uh, back in its box and it keeps well. Um, we've used the Paul H Films First Edition or first release, whatever you want to call it. Uh, synthetic white, synthetic knot, red handle. Goes well, really, Old Spice, red and white. Um, water, cold water to rinse. We've had some tea tree and witch hazel, which I made myself. This beautiful, original Old Spice uh, aftershave. And then the Nivea Men Originals. And um, we're yeah, happy to go. And if we're not careful, the, uh, well here, they used to hang people. I know the electric chair in America and lethal injection and all that type of stuff. But here they used to hang people. So maybe the knot would be, because I'm so slick with this Nivea and the slickness of the soap, it might just slip off, you see. I get away with it. <laughs> anyway, enough nonsense. I'm not going to tag anybody because, um, I don't like tagging people, but if you want to do it, if you have a shaving channel, um, consider yourself tagged, you know, very welcome to do it. Um, even if you haven't got a YouTube channel, you're tagged. Do it at home. <laughs> but um, and put a photograph on Paul's wet head. Uh, yeah, so have a great rest of the week. Thanks again, Don and Sarge. Good health to you both. And I'll see you all on Sunday for the weekend shave. They're coming quickly, aren't they? So, yeah, really enjoyed that. Fantastic. Any excuse to use Old Spice. So all the best. See you Sunday.